A self-taught baker is whipping up some fabulous looking desserts. She started with chocolate covered strawberries, check, but the business has since taken off. And so now Sacra Gray is in El Grove giving us a taste of everything from fresitas to cakes. Hi, Sacra. Good morning. Every day I'm reminded of just how much I love my job because this morning when I go home, I get to say, oh, I spent my entire morning surrounded by cakes. But these aren't your typical cakes. These are cakes that are customized. Take a look at this brat since 99 cake. Okay, someone's about to have the best birthday ever because take a look at all of their photos. And then of course, it's a brat girl summer. So we had to include that on the cake. But I'm introducing you to the baker behind all of these creations. We've got Fresitas by Leslie. Good morning. Hello, thank you for having me. So okay, this is the one of the very few times I get to say, She's younger than me. She's 25 <laughs> years old and able to do all of this. So Leslie, how did this journey start for you? Did you just pick up a cake one day and say, I'm gonna ice this and see how it goes? Or how did you start? So I actually started making chocolate covered strawberries for my mom. I kind of posted it and then people started asking me if I made them. And I was like, yes, of course. So I hopped on that. I made an Instagram page, called it Fresitas by Leslie because I started with strawberries. And then um, my page started going from there. Yeah, so speaking of her Instagram page, let's actually roll some of the videos of you posting some reels on Instagram. It's actually so fun to watch the process of you icing all of the cakes. And then from there, you are self-taught. You watch a lot of YouTube videos. What, how do you approach creating these new cakes, especially when you're doing these custom ones? Yes, of course. So when I started making cakes, I actually have an aunt that's a baker. So she helped me with some tips, also watching videos. And I like to just look at the trends as well. Mm -hmm. So um, I get inspiration as well from my customers. And right. then I just kind of do my own twist. Yeah, so they'll tell you the theme of their birthday, and then you get creative with it. And I actually want to show you guys one of the cakes on the table right here. I thought we were doing a segment of like, um, is it cake or is it not cake? Because I was like, How, what is this? So this is an olla de barro, which is like a vase made out of clay. But um, I really like to um, incorporate my culture, my mm. Mexican culture. So I went ahead and made this cake. So yes, this is cake. And then these flowers are fresh flowers. Beautiful. She was like, do I need to cut into it to prove it? I was like, no, we'll take your word for it. We will believe you. And then on top of that, you still stick with your roots. You still do the strawberries as well. We're seeing the trays of some of the smaller treats. So when people are booking with you, I mean, typically, what do you want them to, to share with you? The event theme and then exactly what they want. When it comes to flavors for the cakes, do you stick with a certain one or can they customize that? So I actually have a very good website in which you can upload um, any inspo pictures that you have or just the theme and then I can just create something that I think looks best within your theme. Um, you can also just give me a color scheme and then I can just go ahead and work from that. I mean, I love that you're able to, and we're joining you in your home right now, and this is your office. This is where you get everything done. So it's so incredible to see how those strawberries for your mom has transformed into this. Also, your mom is very lucky because I'm sure she gets to be the taste tester for you, right? Yes, all my family loves to eat everything that I make. Okay, well, you're invited to be part of my family. I would love to be a taste tester as well. So coming up in just a little bit. So the cakes themselves are impressive, but what if I told you the cake could actually be the star of your party? Cakes that, I don't know, if you mix them with a little bit of fire are gonna give you quite the show. Oh, oh. Don't go anywhere, coming up in the next hour, we're gonna add a little pizzazz, a little fire. Okay. So don't go anywhere, I let like the cake. anticipation build. I like fire. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. All right. Thank you, Sacra. Dig it. Uh, there is a self-taught baker who is making us hungry with her tasty looking oh, desserts. Yes, we're going to check back in with Sacra, whose only job is to eat some amazing creations a day and set some stuff on fire. I want that job. Light it up. Sorry, guys. I had to get the Instagram photos before we get started. OK, you all know we got to do it for the gram. OK, so. Let's take a look at the cakes all on the table. Fresitas by Leslie. She does custom cakes with intricate designs. And if you look at the star of the show, it's sitting right here in the middle. If the colors look a little bit familiar, that is because I believe we're looking at a good day cake. If you take a look at my microphone, they match. Very nice. But what if I told you this beautiful masterpiece, that's not all. We're actually gonna light this thing on fire, right, Leslie? Yes, we are. Okay, so count down with me, good day. Let's mm -hmm. do a five, four, three, okay. two, one. Right. So okay. five, five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. Light, light it up. up. Burn that 
cake. All Burn right. That so cake. I think a message, a very secret message, will be revealed. Oh, what really? is it going to be? Surprise! The is meaning of life. Drink is... more Ovaltine. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Oh, how cute oh, is that? Look at that! Oh my goodness! I did this. You're kidding! <laughs> Wait, it's burning so perfectly too, Leslie. <laughs> oh my goodness, the grand reveal. I see some familiar faces. Oh, oh my gosh. this cake. Oh this my god. This is goodness. amazing. You're kidding. Wow, Leslie. Okay, that's Oh dope. my goodness, how that's did you dope. do this? Well, I went on your page and I kind of took some pictures of you guys and put it together. That is so If cool. I have to say so myself, I think we look small, great yeah. in cake form, team. Yes, we do. Yeah. We look amazing. It's We're almost too beautiful to eat. Wow. No. So no. Kind of no. yummy. No. It's like a new big trend, right? No. Yes. I so this wow. became a new trend on TikTok and then now it's everywhere. But um, that is so we took cool. a vintage heart cake and you put an edible image at the bottom. You make a border along the trim and then you add wafer paper and that's... A wafer paper. Okay. Okay. Very nice. I can't wait to do this to my friends for their birthday. Just have their most embarrassing photo yes. underneath. They think I'm so nice. Ah, I awesome. came here with a beautiful cake and then bam, you when you were little in your diapers. So when it comes to putting together <laughs> cakes like this, I mean, you were telling me you do 10 to 15 cakes a week, right? Yes, that's correct. So let's what actually roll some of the clips from her Instagram. <laughs> you make Instagram reels where you show us the behind the scenes process of you creating these cakes. How long does some of these cakes take you? They can take me a couple hours. Um, usually my heart cakes take me about two hours in um, decorating. Mm -hmm. And you have an artistic background. You're actually a Laguna Creek High School alum. Shout out to Ashley Williams. Right, they did not modern. go to school together. But yeah, Leslie's 25 years old, crazy. And so tell us about how your talent in art <laughs> evolved to cake. <laughs> yes, so I won the district competition through a ceramics piece, and then I started doing strawberries, and then from there I went to other desserts, then I went to cakes. Oh, it also smells like s'mores in here right now, Ooh, like the post-burn cake yeah. smell. I feel like I'm at the campfire. And then finally, we have wedding cakes that you also do, this beautiful thing. You can stick your arm through it. Um, it's literally floating. Uh, tell us a little bit about how people can book with you. Yes, so I, you can go on my website and you can kind of include the details of where your wedding's going to be, how many guests you'll have, any ideas if you have of your cake, and then I can give you a quote. And hey, if you want a good day cake, like you saw this and you're a big good day fan and say, <laughs> I need one of those, you got to order this, guys. Oh my goodness. I'm about to be the fan favorite walking into the newsroom with this one. That but I have so to cool. mention, who's, who's the biggest one right here? <laughs> I think my face is the that, biggest. Yeah. Not not saying Zach that attack. Leslie played any mm -hmm. favorites, but I think I might be the star of the show here. <laughs> so anyways, again, Frasitas by Leslie. If you want to see some of her other cool designs, check out her Instagram. She even has a cake that had tequila inside it. You could get a shot of tequila from inside the cake. Oh, so again, cake. okay, I'm going to grab a knife and a plate and start working on this cake. Okay. So here's the no, question, Sacra. Do you cut into your own face? face. Yes, yes. Yeah. Or do you cut into someone else's? It's a good Ooh, question. Who's face? Who's yeah. face? I I think Cody, Cody looks cuttable. <laughs> <laughs> that's not the Cody. first time I've heard that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, that's a new phrase. I'll cut you. I'll cut you. That was awesome, Sacra. Thank you. <laughs>